There's a thing called the Wim Hof Method. The method involves three core things, an exercise in yoga components such as push-ups and a bunch of stretching, cold showers, and finally a lot of breathing. A lot of breathing. Now what's so interesting about this method is what it does to the human physiology. And not only that, but how good of a cure it is for things such as depression or anxiety. That it can show you how to heal yourself without using drugs, but plainly and simply your own neuro and biochemistry. It affects your autonomic nervous system and immune system. Now, of course, cold showers suck. Even forcing yourself to hyperventilate sucks. And even exercise, most people don't seem to be inclined to do consistently. But the science is solid and the results actually palpable. People can find greater motivation, happiness, and focus through this. The method is actually quite simple. In the morning, you get up, either sit or lie down, and begin to take deep, deep breaths, around 30 to 40, until you feel quite lightheaded. And then empty out your lungs, breathing out, and holding for as long as you can. When you get the urge to breathe again, take a deep breath in and hold again. Hold it for at least 15 seconds or as long as you want, and then breathe out and repeat the set again. You generally do a few sets of these until your body starts buzzing or feeling luminous. It's a pleasant feeling and on a cellular level, very revitalizing. A few interesting things also happen to you when you do this. For one, you expel carbon dioxide from your system and bombard yourself with oxygen. This means your cells have plenty of oxygen to work with and no longer need to use other methods for cellular respiration. This results in your blood pH going up from your standard 7.4, potentially up to 7.75, and more recently recorded up to 8, becoming more alkaline. And this is because other cellular respiration methods that don't use oxygen usually create more acidity and are much less efficient. What's amazing about this alkaline shift is that the sensors that detect acidity in your body stop working properly and are unable to activate the nociceptive pain-inducing receptors, rendering the entire system useless. You become pain-free, practically. So after all that heavy breathing, you're sitting there with alkaline blood, flush with oxygen, and you shift into the second phase of the breathing exercise. You breathe out, and you hold, for as long as you can. The urge to breathe might even come sooner than you actually physically need to, and from my own experience, you might trip out because of being so lightheaded but it's emphasized not to force and see your own limits. At this point in the breathing, people also experience a rush of adrenaline as the body kicks into a fight or flight state. There's a spike in cortisol, the stress hormone, and a drop in inflammatory proteins. This is because the autonomic nervous system is being directly influenced via this method. Because of the spike in adrenaline and cortisol, the immune system, the white blood cells, are suppressed and discouraged from producing inflammatory proteins. And finally, with the spike of oxygen, your cells metabolize much more efficiently, meaning if there was ever a backlog of junk the cells needed to work through, and now they have enough cellular energy to work through it and more. You have trillions of cells, trillions, each needing to breathe, so breathe. After the out-breath, you take a deep breath in and hold for at least 15 seconds or more, breathe out, and start all over again. The next component is physical. The Wim Hof Method encourages push-ups in conjunction with breathing. So you do a few sets of breathing, then hold your breath and do as many push-ups as you can. You might notice that you last quite a while, and this is because your muscles are breathing properly. You also stimulate all that energy in your body into action. Then some stretching is involved, namely a few yoga poses. You might find it easier to stretch with all that oxygen in your system and alkaline blood, so keep a steady breath. And finally, you wrap everything up with a cold shower. This is probably the least appealing part of the method, but its benefits are undeniable. When you have a cold shower, it's usually painful, but with the breathing and mix of neuro and biochemistry happening inside of you, you are much more resilient. Norepinephrine begins coursing through your body, stirring up the fight or flight response. Similar to adrenaline, but not quite the same, it mobilizes your brain and body into action. And oh boy, a cold shower sure is going to mobilize you. Your immune system is again repressed, with inflammatory proteins being discouraged, and studies have shown people who take cold showers had a higher white blood cell count to those who didn't, meaning cold showers also improve and strengthen the immune system and its response. Furthermore, when you are under that cold, cold water, your body begins freaking out, seeking a way to produce heat to stabilize itself. It does this via brown fats in your body, energy-rich fat that burns immediately for the sake of heat and energy. Your cardiovascular system also kicks in, redirecting blood to warm itself up, strengthening your veins and arteries. Cellular metabolism goes through the roof, meaning more oxygen is consumed to mobilize your body, and after a while you just sit there and it's not cold anymore, and you actually have a shower. Then, the more you do this, the physiological systems become more efficient, you actually become cold resistant somewhat, and more importantly, you feel great. I understand this isn't for everyone. This practice is demanding and most people don't like the cold. But if you'd like to experience a part of its potential, I recommend you just try out the breathing. 
Otherwise, doing the whole routine will leave you with a very clear head, and you'll find some solace in that. Facing pain is difficult, but it's also a great way to deal with it. And the more comfortable you are with pain, the less pain there is. If you'd like to learn more, check out Wim Hof, the Iceman. He kicked all this off. Super interesting guy. He holds 20 world records for the craziest shit you can think of. So, yeah, go check him out. Otherwise, if you'd like to follow me, you can find me on these linky dinks. I'll just blast them around the screen. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.